and I'm here with Dr. Molly Raleigh, Hi. my wonderful surgeon here at yes. Quick Fix, and we are here with Zoe. Yes, Zoe. Zoe, we love Zoe. We love Zoe. Zoe is so cute because she's such a uh, good girl, and she's so soft. She's so soft and she, so sweet. I love her. She is just a darling. You want to tell her story because you like it so yes, much. Yes, I love it. So she came on the transport from FAPL in Lyria. So she came to be spayed, um, and like a lot of the shelter cats, when they come, she, she was pregnant, and she was very pregnant. And um, when we got her out of her cage to sedate her for her spay, we noticed that she was actually giving birth <laughs> at that time. So there Surprise! was a baby coming out of her. So <laughs> we called FAPL real quick, and we said, can we keep her and let her have her babies? Because she was so nice and, and um, such a good girl. And so we put her in a cage by herself in the dark and she was purring the whole time and needing her blanket. She just loved the experience, I felt like. Yes. And she gave birth to three, right? Three, three. beautiful babies. Yes. And she's been loving every minute of it since. Yes. <laughs> and now they're all beautiful and growing up big every day. I can't believe it. And yes. she's just the nicest girl. She's the best mama cat I've ever seen. She's yes. wonderful. And today we're gonna talk about a very interesting yes. phenomenon. Yes, or... I learned something reading what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I say, we're, I'd like to talk about the flame and <laughs> response and, and and I said oh I would too <laughs> <laughs> tell me what you know <laughs> um, I am a plethora of useless cat yes, information but <laughs> not useless very good information um, but it's, it interests me yeah. so much mm -hmm. um and do you ever see when your cat does this and I, I always feel <laughs> foolish but it goes it smells something and it goes and, and it keeps his mouth open, uh -huh. and then and they stop, and they really, and then they go, and then yeah. they do this, like, they, flick they their call tongue it a, too sometimes, they, don't they? Yeah, they flick their tongue sometimes, but mostly they keep their mouth open. Mm -hmm. And um, it's almost like, ooh, what was that smell? And they, yeah. they do what's called a grimace. Mm -hmm. A grimace, like. They kind of uh, make a funny face. But right? they, they actually are not not liking the smell. Mm -hmm. They actually are doing a phenomenon type thing that um, when they take in a deep breath of smell, something that they're unfamiliar with, mm -hmm. there's a organ. Yep, in the roof of their mouth. In the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's mm -hmm. organ. Yep. And the response is called a flamen response right. because Dr. Flamen yes. was the first to, <laughs> describe it, I guess. to describe it and, you know, put it out in writing that this is what's happening. Yeah. So, F-L-E-H-M-E-N. Flamen. So fl yeah, Flamen. Flamen, not man. Yeah. Man. More. Man. More than one. More than one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but go ahead and, and, so you did a little research on it. Yeah, I it. did because I was familiar with it in horses, just the, that term, because horses, like horses will do it when they smell something, they'll lift their lip up. And I've seen horses do it a lot, but I didn't actually know that cats did it. And it's because they have that um, organ in the roof of their mouth. It's like a sensor, like a olfactory organ where they smell. And it has tubules that goes up into their nose. And so it helps them smell, like male cats smelling urine is what I was reading about. Mm -hmm. So any mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. smell, they smell with their mouth open because they have an extra nose in their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So, yeah, so if you really want to smell your food, just eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess exactly. if you're a cat. Yeah, if you're a cat, you can just eat it. You can just eat it and yeah. smell it at the same time. Yeah. Isn't so that fascinating? Yeah. There's like a, a hole. There's a hole up mm -hmm. in there. Um, and predominantly they use it, and, and they use it for lots of different things. I've seen cats just walk across the floor and then stop, back up, mm -hmm. and then and then do that. Do it? Yeah. yeah. It's like, what does that smell? Yeah. But um, basically they use it for smelling the urine mm -hmm. of female yeah, like cats. Male cats in heat, maybe? Yeah, male cats do it often to see where in estrus Mm. the cat is so specific yes yeah. actually very specifically when a female cat is actually in estrus or ready to mate uh, they have a different of course biology yeah. to their urine yeah and that's when a male cat's going around doing yeah. this flaming thing yeah. <laughs> he's a flamer <laughs> flaming all the, but um yeah he's he, that it's amazing mm -hmm. It How is. God created these creatures. There's just, so, there's so, to Who me, knew you were so from the very minute I met them, I can remember as a tiny child, just fascinated.